<laughs> the sky looks so beautiful. Yes, the sky is the big open space above us that we see when we look up. But why is the sky blue? Why not purple, pink, or green? <laughs> see the sun shining above? It's all because of the way sunlight reaches Earth. I don't get it. Could you explain it to me and our friends? Are you guys ready to learn about why the sky is blue? Look! Sunlight is falling here on the ground! This looks like a ray of white light. Yes! I had studied that this white light is made of all the colors of the rainbow. Namely violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. You are correct! Come with me! We will do a small experiment to understand about the topic. What is this triangular thing? This is a prism. It is a type of three-dimensional shape with flat sides. Now, look carefully. You can actually separate and see all the seven colors of the rainbow if you shine some light on the prism. Light energy travels in waves, which consists of different wavelengths and different colors of light are created by different types of waves. Wavelength, what is that? Could you tell me more about this? Yes, sure. Light waves have peaks and valleys. The distance between two of these peaks is called a wavelength. Sunlight contains light waves with long, medium, and short wavelengths. Please show this with examples. When your eyes recognize the color red, what you actually see is long, stretched out light waves with peaks that are far off. Could you tell what happens when you see blue colored light? Yes, yes! When our eyes recognize the blue color, we are actually seeing shorter, smaller waves with peaks that are close together. It simply means blue light has a higher frequency and carries more energy than red light. The different colors of light are determined by the wavelength of light. Together, all the colors make the spectrum of visible light, which is actually what we can see. So, why do we only see blue light when we look up at the sky on a sunny day? The blue color we see comes from sunlight hitting the atmosphere of Earth. A layer of air molecules and gases that give us oxygen to breathe and keeps the planet warm enough to live on. When sunlight reaches the Earth's atmosphere, it is scattered in all directions by the gases in the air, which is called Rayleigh scattering. The types of gases in the atmosphere of Earth are mostly scattered by the shorter, choppier waves of blue light. Blue light scatters more than the other colors. So when we see a blue sky, we are really seeing all of these blue light waves scattering in our atmosphere. Hey Jill, look how beautiful the sunset is. But why is the sky a different color at sunset? During sunset, when the sun is close to the horizon, the light must travel through more of the atmosphere than it does when the sun is overhead. This results in more scattering of light, including longer wavelengths, such as red, orange, and yellow, which makes colorful sunrise and sunset skies. Let's go home now. We are getting late. Okay. I wanted to show you something. Look, during daytime, blue light scatters easily in the atmosphere, so the sky looks blue. During sunrise and sunset, red light scatters less and travels farther, which makes the sky appear reddish. You have learned it so well. Thank you for explaining everything to me. You are welcome, Jack. I hope you guys also enjoyed watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.